Yeah. I think that's a man, actually, huh? It's like a woman from behind, but then. Deep voice, sir. Spanish fortress of Madridejos. Madrid, like Madrid, España, but with ejos, Madridejos. An ordinance declaring the old Spanish fort in Coto Park in the municipality of Madridejos province of Cebu as heritage site. Old Cota Fort, built in 1790s by first settler Gabriel Lazaro Mangubat, founder of Lawis government, served as a watchtower and refuge of the local inhabitants. Each time Moro pirates attacked and plundered towns along sea coast. The fort is made of corals, stones, sand, egg white, sugar and limestone egg white and sugar binding agents i guess but sounds like ingredients for a cake this is the old spanish cake fortress <laughs> oh it's hot if you don't know moro is the spanish derogatory term to refer to Muslims so Muslims attacking Spanish obviously Catholic held towns along the coast coming up from Mindanao I guess so I guess it wasn't really a place for defense they said it was just a, a refuge so I guess they just hunkered down people who weren't gonna fight the pirates because I didn't see anywhere in here for uh, uh, embattlements place for a uh, cannon like a lot of fortresses have, have a defense, not just walls, but they can they can uh, fire cannons on approaching uh, enemy ships. Storage. What's that in Spanish? Almacén. For me, it's just so cool to be here and just love history. I know I'm, I'm far from the only one who loves history, but uh, you know, I'm on, I like history more than the average person visiting historical sites. I believe so. I mean, my wife didn't care to come here, but you know, for me, this was built by Los Españoles and Las Filipinas and I kind of consider the Spanish to be my people yeah, I have some Spanish heritage and, and I just um, I like Spain and things Spanish Hispanic things even outside of uh, the motherland of Spain itself. So.
Yeah, I mean, more than like the French or the Germans, I, I see the Spanish as my people, they say. I speak the language, so I have, have a connection, so I kind of feel like, you know, my people were here. They built this. They were here for a long time, more than three centuries. Ruled uh, most of them modern day Philippines. With the exception of some uh, sultanates, Muslim areas in the south, in the far south of modern Philippines. Sultan Kudarat. Yeah, I kind of wish that the Spanish still ruled because then Spanish would still be the official language here. And, uh, you know, you could speak it with just about anyone. But, you know, and if that would not be possible, then that you know, the people had retained Spanish, the knowledge of Spanish, instead of replacing Spanish with English during the American colonial time, post Spanish American War, Philippine American War, up until World War II and after World War II, 1946, at that time, English uh, displaced Spanish, and to me that's a pity. I really wish I could speak Spanish here. It's like the only thing that's missing for me. I have uh, this wonderful Bantayan Island, and uh, it's great. I mean, it's hot. But I mean, it's, uh, it's the, uh, the region we're in, the tropics. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful uh, place. And when they say uh, it's more fun in the Philippines, I'm not talking about where I've spent most of my time up in Metro Manila and nearby areas. They're talking about places like this this Bantayan Island in the Visayas region, Cebu. That looks like a stage for performing arts. And I wonder if that's original or if that was built after. I can't tell with that, with that masonry, if that's old or not. Well, it could be original. These steps. Uh, it's nice in here. Well, if we, if we had people still spoke Spanish here, I, I think it would check off all the, all the boxes on a place I'd like to live. Hear that karaoke? That tells you, that lets you know we're not in the 1800s anymore. Spanish aren't using this fort anymore. We're in the year 2020.
bad happened to that dog. Low tide. It's incredibly bright. You can barely see the phone screen. The picture's probably good. What is this? To all Laui Sanon, it is my destiny to carry the task in carving the social political, economic, environmental, cultural, and spiritual developments of town and my constituents with all my hearts and mission. This is for you, Honorable Letty Bia Carlos Manzio, 2005. is a bit trashy. Not like the beaches in the south. This is uh, the northern tip of the island of Bantayan. Jink is not feeling well. Head hurts, runny nose, wants to go. <clears throat> wants to come back already. But I gotta walk out here and see the view. Who knows if I'll come back. If I get the taste of salt, you breathe with your mouth open. Little fish trapped in the tide pool. I guess they have a way out to the ocean there. It's catching. Here inscribe the names of men and women who extended immeasurable sacrifices to make this project be a part of Madri de los Restaurants aren't open yet, the place to get snack and uh, drink. She's over there thirsty. Nothing to do, nowhere to buy a drink. Some loud ass karaoke, but it always is in the Philippines.
quite a lot. Can't climb to the top. Oh well. Still get a view. Hey, my three day horse.